deceptions of this world, they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. John 17, 16 and 17. In our quest for truth, the world has plenty of deceptive schemes to trap us into full appearances of absolute truth in exchange for relativism. For example, the marketing strategy of this world is simple and direct. If it feels good, just do it, Nike. You deserve a break today, McDonald's. You can have it your way, Burger King. The end justifies the means, Sergi Nakayev. If others do it, you should do it too. There is no hell or heaven, John Lennon. And it all leads to salvation. Each individual has a part of the truth once it is combined with others. It becomes the real truth. These are the statements the world makes to deceive you. During World War II, Winston Churchill made a powerful statement, True is the most valuable thing in the world. In fact, it's so valuable that it's protected by bodyguards of lies. In my years in the banking industry, I watched how tellers were trained to detect counterfeit bills. I expected some samples of counterfeits to be part of the illustrations. Instead, to my surprise, the experts focused on the real bills and its characteristics. If you know the real bill, you will have more chances of detecting the counterfeit. Our lives depend on accepting and living in the truth. The world has plenty of well-presented shopping windows filled with counterfeits. This offer us plenty of success according to the world standards. By now, pay later is the most attractive message offered to men. Indeed, the world offers plenty of easy solutions to life with a major price tag, your beliefs. The Bible is very clear that the wages of sin, in other words, the lies of this world, leads to death. Our universe tells our young people that humanistic theories equal truth. Christian parents pay a major financial price to send their children to receive higher education only to be disappointed and devastated once their children adopt contrary points of view of their own faith. Thus, we must remind ourselves and our loved ones that we live in this world, but we do not belong to this world. And instead, we must be sanctified by the truth, the absolute word of God.